Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making an After Effects tutorial. I've started editing on After Effects since February. So in one of my recent edits, there's like a type of blur in the um, Element 3D. And it's like death, you know, like it just looks blurred, but I don't know how to see it. So first thing you want to do is open your after effects and make a new project i'm gonna make a new comp and i'm gonna keep these settings like this all right so let's say you're editing and you want to do a death effect for example i will um do a new a solid and i will go into effects and presets and i'll add element plugin Okay, now my element plugin is added right here. And I'm going to put multiple objects, like random presets, into the screen. So, on top of each other, basically. On front of each other. So, let's say I'm going to put like a, a trunk wheel. Uh, right? So, um, let's say we want to change the position. This is a very important um, thing to do. Because sometimes after um, adding graphs into Element 3D is kind of like stiff and it's really bad. So to fix that, um, you want to make a, a new layer and you want to make a camera and change the preset to 35 mm or millimeters, I believe, and click OK. Um, you might see like a small change, but now you want to add a new layer and it's this time we're going to add a no object and what you want to do with your camera is you want to drag this little squiggly line into the no object layer and make the no object layer blurred uh, motion blur and 3d so now um you're ready to move everything around you're going to go into your no object layer and you're going to move everything around how you like so i'm gonna be right back and i'm gonna make a quick movement or keyframes between these objects so i could show you guys the actual tutorial all right now i'm back and i actually added some keyframes to move around with the objects so this is how it looks like so far this does not have any motion blur um so i'm just moving around the objects of course so i will also teach you some of the settings i use for element 3d so i could add motion blur and stuff like this so first let's start off with motion blur so it looks everything looks smoother i'll just add motion blur here and it'll add motion blur but what you want to do is go over here into your gray solid or whatever solid you have on your element 3d go to render settings right here um the first thing you want to do is change um ambient occlusion this is totally up to you if you want to use ambient occlusion what an ambient occlusion does is add shadows um if it were roblox but with shaders on so as you can see when i change the number to a higher number over here there appear shadows but if it's like really low it's like bland so yeah you could also see the shadows on the wheel anyways that was totally up to you if you wanted to do that but these are the motion blur settings i like to use so i want to change motion blur to um on and change this to 15 and i usually change this to 540 because i don't like to like the number like i used to use 200 but all right now it's all finished and i'm going to show you how it looks like with motion blur And now for the part you've been waiting for, how to add the death or blur to the like background objects once they move like that new recent edit I made. How I do this is, um, this is a very important um, why the camera is actually necessary. So you're gonna go into your camera layer and you're gonna go into camera options and turn death off field on right here. And it might do something, so like the little blur you can see. But this is not what we want at all. Um, we want that each object that's closer to the camera is clear and every object that's farther from the camera is um, blurry. So we're gonna have to mess up, mess around with focus distance, up, aperture, and blur level. 
if you want that. So we're going to mess around focus distance to see what looks best. All right, so I've successfully did this. It took me a while to figure out how to change the numbers because I don't exactly have a specific numbers to work around with. So I changed the focus distance to 434 aperture to 241 and I left the blur level at 100. And now you can see that the light bulb is clear and then the little rock on back there is blurry. So let's actually see how it looks like. Now that it's finished rendering, let's see to the end result. That looks really amazing. Um, so as you can see here, the light bulb, I think I made this keyframe way too quickly, but the light bulb is clear, the rock is um, blurry, and now once you get closer to the rock, it becomes more clear to see it and then when you get closer to the tire it becomes clear of course if you do want to change some of the settings you could always add keyframes for me i do want to change some of the settings because at the end the tire does not completely become clear so i do want to change the blur level back to zero and there you go and when you do that this will have to render again and at the end, you could always add your favorite effects to your video. And this will work with Element 3D or with any other type of 3D edits you're type of doing. But thank you everyone so much for watching this tutorial. I hope this helped you become a better editor. And I will be posting more tutorials in the future. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below your favorite part of this video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye!